So many months after the first Reno smartphone popped out of Oppo's metaphorical womb, we now have the fresh new Oppo Reno 2, rocking the more powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset which is aimed at smooth gaming experiences. Now I've been using the Oppo Reno 2 as my full-time personal handset for the last week or so and I can attest to the fact that it is a solid gaming handset, definitely a strong rival to most other options out there. Here's a closer look at the Oppo Reno 2's PUBG mobile smarts to show exactly how good it is at gaming in terms of the performance, the battery life, the gaming features and the rest. And you can also check out my in-depth Oppo Reno 2 review which is live right now for more on this fantastic handset. And please do poke subscribe and hit that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you! So first up, just a quick note on the design. The Oppo Reno 2 is a bit of a hefty mother like most smartphones these days and at 6.5 inches that screen is pleasingly spacious which is definitely good when you've got a bit of PUBG Mobile on the go. Like pretty much every other mobile out there in 2019, it's a sport a glass back which can make it a little bit slippery especially if your hands are getting a bit sweaty and moist after a long gaming session but Oppo has at least bundled a case in there with the Reno 2 so you can always slap that on to help prevent it from slipping around too much if it bugs you. Meanwhile that flat screen design is also very well suited to gaming. The lack of curvature at the edges means you can easily access all of those far reaching on screen buttons with pleasing responsiveness. Now a common feature here on Oppo smartphones is the game space tool. It's not just a way of collecting all of your games together in one place, it also adds a whole bunch of extra bonus gaming features. So for instance of course you've got full notifications blocking which is definitely handy. And as you can see here you've got network and protection as well which is really really good for your online games like PUBG Mobile. It just prevents apps in the background from accessing your mobile data or your Wi-Fi and therefore slowing down your connection for PUBG Mobile. And when you're actually playing a game of PUBG Mobile, you can drag out this handy little toolbar from the side of the screen as well. And as you can see there, you can just set the do not disturb and the reject call options right there from the toolbar. You've also got an option of doing a screen recording or taking a screenshot at any time for a bit of posterity purposes. Let's move on to one of the most crucial factors for gaming and that is the performance and the Oppo Reno 2 does alright in this area. It may not rock the latest Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset like the likes of the OnePlus 7T or the Nubia Z20 but the 730G chipset in there does it more than adequately for your gaming needs. Basically compared with the original 730 chipset it boasts an overclocked Adreno 618 g GPU and that gives you roughly 15% better graphical performance. And overall you get around 25% better performance compared with the 710 chipset stuffed in the original Oppo Reno smartphone. Now I decided to do some benchmark testing using of course good old reliable GameBench. We stuck it on the HD detail settings in PUBG Mobile. It doesn't support HDR just yet here on the Reno 2, although apparently HDR gaming is kitted for with the Snapdragon 730G chipset. We also tested on high frame rate settings as well which is again the maximum you can go for here on the Oppo Reno 2. Now I found that the frame rate in my PUBG mobile sessions almost constantly stuck to the 30 frames per second maximum limit even during some pretty intense gunfights and for matches that went on for around 20 to 30 minutes. As usual the most testing moments involve zipping across the landscape in some kind of vehicle and occasionally this did cause the frame rate to drop just for the briefest of moments to around 27 or 28 FPS but the game still appeared pretty smooth and remained playable at all times. So as far as that gaming performance goes the Oppo Reno 2 performs very respectably although obviously you can't get those super high detail levels and frame rates that you get on the likes of the OnePlus 7T. And then when it comes to the battery life, the Oppo Reno 2 stuffs in a mighty 4000 mAh which is definitely just as strong as most rivals. Playing PUBG Mobile caused a steady drop of around 17% per hour which means you can game for just under 6 hours non-stop from a full charge. But frankly if your thumbs aren't bleeding by the end of that then you clearly play a lot of PUBG. No worries on the heat in front either. The back of the Oppo Reno 2, this glass surfacing right here, did start to get a little bit toasty after about half an hour or so of gaming but didn't progress beyond that, didn't get really really hot and I didn't see any performance issues when gaming on the Reno 2 even for a couple of hours at a time. So basically overall the performance here on the Reno 2 is absolutely fine for gaming although a Snapdragon 855 Plus handset like the Nubia Z20 or the OnePlus 7T can be yours for a similar sort of price and that will obviously offer greater longevity and stronger performance with a greater frame rate. Of course the game space features do help to elevate the Oppo Reno 2 beyond some of the competition but again on the likes of the OnePlus 7T you've got that excellent fanatic mode to block all notifications and really give the performance a boost when needed. So go check out my full Oppo Reno 2 review for an in-depth look at the rest of the hardware and the software to see how it is just to use as an everyday smartphone and let us know what you think down in the comments below. You're tempted by the Reno 2 or perhaps one of its rivals instead. Do a full unbox that Nubia Z20 with its crazy dual screen display so go check that out and uh, all my OnePlus 7T coverage is now online as well and have yourselves a lovely week people cheers